Hi, my name is Brian Duggan and today I'm going to demonstrate a piece of software called MAT2. MAT2 stands for Machine Annotation of Traditional Tunes and this is software I developed on my PhD research which was on the topic of the annotation of traditional Irish dance music. So there are about 7,000 traditional tunes in existence and one problem that musicians typically have is remembering the names of tunes and this even comes true on commercial recordings where you see a lot of commercial recordings and the tunes are annotated with the title Gone Anna which means no name. So the purpose of this software is to match a recording with a ground truth annotation um, in the ABC language. So to demonstrate this what I'll do is I will make a query of my system and see if it can find a matching tune for it. So I click live query <laughs> Play the phrase and then I click transcribe. Now what's going to happen in the transcription is first of all it will calculate an onset detection function and you can see the onset detection function for this piece of music plotted in this lower graph here. Um, the onset detection function then um, the program then tries to eliminate any ornamentation notes in the piece of music. Um, it also compensates for lots of other types of expressiveness that typically traditional musicians would use, such as tempo deviation. And um, what we can do then is um, we can play the transcription. Um, along the way, we'll have, we'll have analyzed the music to try and figure out the pitches, and it uses a pitch spe spelling algorithm then to try and associate the detected frequencies with um, a note. So we see that the transcription has got errors in it, but that's okay because my program compensates for errors in the transcription as well. So now what we can do is click on find, and what the program will do now is it will search through its database of uh, 1,582 tunes in ABC language to try and find the closest match. And the closest match it's found is the Mug of Brown Ale. Interestingly, it's found another version of the Mug of Brown Ale, which this tune is also close to. And what you can do at this stage is you can click on this button here, which will tell you uh, we'll actually play the tune and you can tell if it's the correct match or not. So we can tell straight away that it is in fact the Mug of Brown Ale. So we click on the tune and we see that it's also known as the Jug of Brown Ale. It's also played in E Dorian and it gives you the reference for the tune. We can see that it's in A Dorian and it's a jig in 6-8 time. And there's the variation of the tune which is the second match that the program has found. Um, this software works really well for all kinds of different recordings of different instruments. So just to give an example, what we'll do here is we'll pick, um, let's see, what, which one will we go for? Jolly Clam Diggers, Flute and Guitar. We'll have a listen to the original. Now we can see even though there's a lot of noise in that, it's still found the correct tune as being the Jolly Clam Diggers. Similarly, here's a tune called The Books of Or and More played um, by the flute player Packy Dignan and this was a recording made in the 1970s on an analogue tape deck uh, so there's quite a lot of noise in this recording see that it's correctly identified this tune as being the Books of Oran Moore. So another part of this software is called Tansy, and Tansy is obviously named after the famous flute player Seamus Tansy. Tansy in this case stands for Turn Annotation from Sets Using Similarity Profiles. 
And what Tansy will attempt to do is it will analyse a set of tunes, a recording of a set of tunes. Now in traditional Irish music, tunes are never played singly, like um, the first example. Tunes are always played in groups of two or three tunes, um, where each tune is repeated multiple times, and there's no interval between the playing of the first tune and the playing of the second tune. Typically tunes can be in different keys, but will always be in the same time signature. So what Tansy will do is it will analyse the recording of a set of tunes and it will attempt to figure out where the turn is. So where the turn is, is basically where the set changes from one tune to the next. Tansy will also count the repetitions of each tune in the set and to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a set of tunes played in the key of, uh, on, a, on, a, on a flute pitched in the key of F and this is actually two tunes played in a set in the key of F. So here we go. This is the cup of tea and upstairs in a tent. So what it's going to do here is it's going to do the transcription. The transcription in this case will take a little bit longer because the piece of audio is a little bit longer but just so you can hear this is what the audio the original piece of audio sounds like. So just while the program is running you can see that the onset detection function in this window here you can see the perceived onsets drawn on top of the waveform in this window here at this stage it hasn't gone to the uh, it hasn't gone and eliminated the ornamentation notes because it's still calculating the frequencies and the frequency detection is done using a harmonicity uh, frequency domain pitch detection algorithm and you can see the FFTs of each frame of audio plotted in this top window up here. So that's the turn. That's where it's basically played the first tune several times and now it's gone into playing the second tune which is upstairs in the tent. So what you hear there is an example of what's called reversing in traditional Irish music. And reversing basically means transposition by one octave. It's another thing that my software compensates for. So there's the transcription. So what we see is, I'll just play a small phrase from the transcription. Um, what we see from the output of the program is that it's found the cup of tea and it's found that the cup of tea repeats after 62 seconds and it, the second repetition of the tune finishes at 122 seconds into the audio. Then it's found the second tune which is upstairs in the tent and it's found that that tune finishes after 162 seconds and then finishes for the second time in 200 and after 203 seconds. So there are the turns that it's found and again to, to do the proof listening for this you can click on any of the tunes and you can do a listen to make sure it's correct. You can look at these top graphs up here which are basically the similarity profiles. This is the similarity profile for the second tune and you can see that you have a trough here and a trough right at the very end and these two troughs basically are the locations of the end of the tune. So that concludes my demonstration of MAT2 with Tansy. This is my uh, work that I've submitted as part of my PhD on the annotation of traditional Irish dance music, there are a lot of original contributions in this work and I believe it will be extremely useful for traditional music musicians everywhere. Um, you can download all of my software again from my website www.bryanduggan.com that's B-R-Y-A-N-D-U-G-G-A-N.com and all of this software is available free of charge. Uh, source code can also be downloaded as well.